Really? All right, go. So, to this lighting is just not superior. Came through dripping aquafina. I'm sipping 15. Kept a weapon on me. Flow make bitches. I'm on my business. Stack chicken like what it's gonna be. Crew in the cut. A hey, you want us to run when I tell a piece. Today I'm gonna be talking to y'all about my weight loss journey. Journey. <laughs> it's not really weight loss journey to be honest. It's like a body body positive transition type thing. Transform not transition. What? Transition from what to what? Transformation. Okay. So I'm gonna tell y'all with with pictures i'm going to include pictures i'm going to include videos i'm going to include all the likes because i hate when people do these videos and then they don't have like photo references like yeah you could tell me you lost 50 pounds but like what that really looking like so anyways um where do i start right now i am in a place where i'm pretty comfortable with my body working on it you know trying to trying to lose a little a little you know but and this of course is a baggy tee so it's not necessarily a good representation of how i look right now but i will include a video or a picture right here anyways um so growing up i was always the bigger girl i was always big boned i always ate like a grown-ass woman when i was five years old there's not necessarily anything wrong with being bigger and whatnot um but it's just something that I've always been a little bit self-conscious of because I've always been the bigger girl. I played sports majority of my life. I started in fourth grade and kept going until 10th grade and I played year-round AAU school and primarily basketball, but I did dabble in cheerleading and volleyball, but I was just always, always, always active. Um, but because of that, I kind of just ate whatever I wanted to eat and so I didn't necessarily lose weight. I was just kind of like maintaining where I was at and uh, I was wearing a size 12 like I jumped into a size 12 like pretty early like probably sixth grade and um, which is big for sixth grade I feel like I was also tall as hell too so I jumped into a size 12 and I don't even don't even ask me how much I weigh because I have no idea but uh, yeah size 12 probably like an extra large shirt this was before plus size even came out or anything like that. Um, and I always wore basketball clothes. I was always barely fitting into the jeans because like 13, 15 was like kind of the last of that section before you went to like women's wide or like a W or whatever. Um, which as a middle schooler, you don't want to be put into clothes like that. So... I kept growing, getting older, and I just kind of naturally started losing the weight in ninth grade, which, uh, going into ninth grade, which I was still at 12, but it was just kind of like, my, my weight was starting to like distribute a little bit differently. And so I kind of just like started owning up to myself and just being a little bit more confident. And then when I got to the rest of high school, um i was back in virginia and i was just trying to like fit in with the joneses so i was so stuck on like fat diets and losing weight and if i called myself fat back then i can only imagine what that breed back then would call myself now i thought i was so big my mind honestly really 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 played tricks on me like and it wasn't fair and i was just really was worried about everyone else and how they looked and their size and if they had a gut or if they didn't if they're hippie whatever and um yeah so um I was always a size 12, always a size 12. Like I never jumped higher or lower until about my senior year, I started being really consistent with my diet. I started exercising um, and I was like kind of going into a 10, like the 12 were too big, but the 10s were too small. And like, I was at like a medium shirt. It was like a really good, I was at a really good place when I graduated. And that's honestly kind of something that I would like to get back to. But um, 
the summer going into college and like being in college i kind of started gaining that weight back and uh not not only was it because of freshman 15 because you know you go on college you go on campus you're at the calf i ate waffles every single time no matter how full i was i ate waffles every single time i went to the calf i always had an omelet it was just bad and then i got into a, a what would have been what was a long term relationship that i didn't know was gonna be that and we just got really serious really fast always hanging out always eating i lived in a dorm at the time i didn't even have a kitchen so always eating out popeyes mcdonald's all kinds of just stuff every single day cookout if you're from the south you know what cookout is um that was a big thing especially after parties um so i really started gaining weight really fast and i jumped up to a 14 and then i jumped up to a 16 and then uh so we were together for two years before we moved and then when i moved to new york area i was of course if you've been following me you know it's because i was um i got signed as a model and if you know about plus size 12 is already too small for a for a like you're gonna be an in-between, you're probably not gonna get booked as much. Like 16 is truly the sample size for plus size, to be honest. And um, when I came up here, of course we're living together, so we're continuing those habits of always eating. Like if he was like, I'm kinda hungry, I'd be like, you know what, me too. Wasn't hungry at all. I just wanted something to, to just munch on. Always had snacks. I stayed home a lot. I didn't have a car my first year here and I was just falling into those bad habits. I ended up getting basically into an 18 and I that was at my heaviest weight. I was a size I was size 18 16 18 and I weighed 223 pounds. That's the highest I've ever seen my weight go up to and it was crazy because I was like battling like okay do i want to lose weight and then not be able to work for real but be happy or continue eating however i want to eat and then just staying the way that i am even though i'm unhappy well i went through all these fad diets i would try to starve myself not in a sense of like not eating but just like i would be like oh i'm gonna get like a kid's meal instead knowing that my stomach wasn't even like acclimated to that portion size yet um so we ended up splitting up um and i moved into my own place and uh j basically early january of this year of 2019 and because of that i was able to eat whenever i wanted to eat move how i wanted to move be about how i wanted to be about um eating however much i wanted to eat where i wanted to eat at and it really just put me into my own control and next thing you know the weight shedded like crazy and just kind of did it and i didn't really work out for real like i kind of started working out um like this past like month and a half but really i haven't like it hasn't been like that way before that's kind of shed it it just kind of like went away because my portion sizes were so much different than what i had been eating i could literally like i went to dc i ordered two ribs and i could barely even finish that i couldn't even touch my sides i was ordering kid sizes but actually like because i knew i wasn't gonna finish it my friends would be like you know you're not gonna finish it why are you getting all this food i'm like i know but I had just not had an appetite. I don't know. I just moved here and I was just so focused on moving and just like, like moving here and moving about as well. And so I would come home and I'm not the type of person to keep groceries in my house, to be honest. Like I usually eat out if I do eat because if I keep groceries in the house, I know that it's there. So I'm going to eat it. And that really just puts me back into my old habits, which I don't want to do. Um, so then um like i said the weight just started shedding off and next thing you know i was a size i basically went down to a size 14 16 um like it was the same thing like 16 was too big 14 was a little bit too snug and so whatever and then my shirts were like a medium to a large but i've always been smaller on like the top part of my body anyways especially for like the curve world um so then so then um i started like 
it honestly felt amazing and then uh, I graduated and summer came and now I kind of gained a little bit more weight I personally don't know how much I weigh right now I'm kind of scared but I do know that when I was at my smallest at 203 it was actually I got down to 201 and I was waiting to see that one 199 but I never got to it. I'm still working on it first of all so <laughs> but yeah I was at 201 and that my measurements at the time my waist was a 33 and a half and my hips were a 46 that was the smallest measurements that I have been since gaining all that weight and actually when I was my smallest in college I was 175 like when I was going into college and then like I said my highest weight once I moved here was 223 so that's how much weight I gained in a matter of like two years which is like kind of ridiculous to me like I really just like ate whatever the hell I wanted to eat and that was not okay I really 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 like I was binge eating just eating whatever I wanted whenever I wanted literally we could be sitting on the bed like I want some cookies yeah let's go like literally just like that so now that I gained a little bit of weight back it's just really because of the summer because you know you're more active in the summer you're drinking a lot because you're partying and because when you drink you gotta eat more so you don't throw up or you know when you're drunk you just kind of like do those things um and like friends you know we're going to the beach we're taking snacks with us we're drinking juice it's just all kinds of stuff that really just like you're just active you're just active you're you're eating you're snacking all the time and you know what i'm not even beating myself up about this um because your body is supposed to change and it's not something that's irreversible it's like i can, can i can work on this you know but that's why i said it's not really like a before and after necessarily it's kind of just like my journey so far and i really my goals for the future is really to like go towards back to that size 12 um one what is it size 12 like my, i want a smaller waist and stuff smaller hips that's just my personal goals i would like to get back to about 180 175 pushing it maybe it's funny because when people try to like guess my weight which i'm very open with it especially being a model you kind of have to be open with not necessarily your your weight like the actual number but like your measurements and stuff and like what size you wear so i've gotten really open to it so when people try to guess my weight people usually say like 170 and that is just absolutely crazy to me because i am 30 pounds heavier than that i'm sitting probably i would probably guess at like 207 210 if if i'm being honest so that's my goals in the future i really want to continue this i'm going to keep updating y'all on my fitness goals if you have any questions if you want to see some of my workout routines or like just uh workout inspiration outfits i have some i can do that um just anything kind of towards that because um if i tell y'all about it i feel like i'll be really on my shit you know but anyways that wraps up this video if you have any questions let me know make sure you like make sure you like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video